What I eat in a day, a Ramadan edition. So I like to wake up pretty early to get in a pretty big breakfast. This is three boiled eggs, some chicken slice from Natural Watch, bang bang, and I also have a protein shake. Honestly, I absolutely hate taking the shell off boiled eggs, but I thought I could do a cool transition here, so it didn't work out, but let's just pretend, guys, Wow, look how amazing that was. The eggs and the chicken slices would go in some two slices of toast. I love toast. Toast is like one of my favorite things to eat. Simple buttery goodness. Anyway, this goes in with some garlic milk, because I'm a bit of fatty, and it also sweet chili to add extra flavor. Gave a little pat for being a good boy, cut in the middle for the shots, and there we go. Look how amazing this looks. Honestly, after my first bite, even I was a little bit shocked. I completely outdid myself. This was next level delicious. Usually, I also have some yogurt as well, but honestly, I woke up a bit too late. I ran out of bit of time. So that was all I had this morning. Now, let me show you the preparation for my iftar. What I'm going to do, so I'm going to use a slow cooker, whack in a whole kilo of chicken. I like to season this with katsu normally because it's one of my favorite flavor profiles. But honestly, you can use whatever you like. One thing I'll say though, make sure you use a lot of seasoning because when it's in a slow cooker, when it's this much chicken, it's going to uh, water down the flavor a little bit. It won't necessarily be dry. It just won't really taste much or anything. So today I'm going to have well, it was supposed to be a whole can of this, uh, can, a whole jar of this, uh, but my wife ate it. But anyway, just wipe, honestly, just wipe the whole thing in. Also, I've just realized I'm recording and I did this the complete wrong way. I wasn't thinking. I like to put my seasoning on first. <laughs> I'm gonna use these. Literally whack the whole packet in there. Remember you can season this literally however you like. I'm gonna throw in some coriander, a little bit too much, some of this ginger, Gonna throw in paprika. Quick one. What does paprika even do? Everyone always talks about paprika. What does it do? What does it taste like? What's it? What's the purpose of it? And then we're gonna throw in some garlic and herb seasoning. Um, this is ready to go on. Look how colourful that looks. So that's a kilo of chicken. That'll last me about five meals. Um, I'm gonna put this on for four hours on high, but you can put it on low for seven hours. It's up to you. Hopefully, the next segment is what you see when I'm eating for iftar. Yes, I've been in my snoozy pretty much all day. So this is dinner. It looks terrible, if I'll be honest with you, because I completely butchered the jacket potato. But essentially, I've got some cheese there. I've got some jacket potato, and I've got a lot of chicken. I've got my protein shake as well, because I need to get that protein in before gym. And then we've got lots of fruit. It's already half eaten, because iftar was about five minutes ago. So I'm going to munch this down. I'm going to go to the gym. I'll show you a little bit of that, and I'll show you what I have after gym as well so let's go now it's time for a quick little gym session i'm really fortunate that my gym is 24 7 anyway i came in today for a quick back session i didn't go super crazy high the goal here wasn't to gain any strength or muscle really it was just to maintain as much of that strength as i possibly could so max set i did was 144.3 of course i'm only showing you my deadlift here i did do other stuff as well in total the gym session ended up being about an hour and a half did a little cardio at the end but ultimately i don't want to fatigue myself here because the main goal during ramadan is our ibadat okay so that was a really quick gym session uh, it was back today i didn't show you everything let me know if you do want me to show you like a proper day in the gym type video uh, but obviously it's ramadan i want to keep it quite light maintain as much strength as i can but not going crazy on the reps kind of halving it the main goal obviously is just to maintain not necessarily build muscle because the most important thing is our ibadat our namaz our prayers our re quran reading that sort of stuff so you don't really want to fatigue yourself and then have that being jeopardized but yeah, now i'm going to have a little quick post gym snack and then that should be my day. After that, obviously, I'll read Isha and then I'll go to sleep for, and then Sethi, so all over again. So I'm gonna have some of this, well, some of this, I'm gonna have all of this, and then I have some fruit with it. Here's a little food hack Proteinify all your desserts. So whatever you want, add protein to it. Okay, so just finished reading Isha prayer. That is my day done. I'm gonna relax for about 10 15 minutes, go to bed, and then inshallah, I'll wake up for Sethi and start that all over again. But yeah, that was a quick. Little, I say quick, it was a whole day, but that was an idea of what I tend to eat in a day during Ramadan. It tends to be quite healthy, tends to be full of protein, and I still gym. If you want to see more content like this, drop a comment below, let me know. But until next time, I'll see you on that next video. Peace.